Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Royal Family. In this episode of The Royal Family, we are just going to be doing a big castle tour of the Windenburg Palace because I have finally finished renovating it and I'm so excited to show you guys. So that's all, that's, that is all we will really be focusing on in this episode. We'll focus on some other story stuff later. I'll mention like a few things going on with the storyline, but mostly just focusing on the Windenburg Palace in this episode. So it might be a little short, but it's going to be a lot of fun. So if you're excited to see the Windenburg Palace, give this video a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. Okay guys, so this is just like the world view. I think I did show this to you in the last episode, so you guys can pretty much see. But they have officially moved into that, like back into the Windenburg Palace because if you guys have seen the previous episodes, they were previously living here at their royal summer home while their palace was being renovated. So now they're moved back in officially. So this is a lot of fun. It's like perfect timing because as you guys saw in the last episode, Amira was just announced the heir to the throne of Windenburg. So it's like a whole new slate for them, I feel like. Okay guys, so we are here at the Windenburg Palace. So this is the front view. I do want to say this. I did not make this original palace. So this palace, I didn't ch do many changes to the outside. It's really the inside that I did all the renovations to. So you guys are about to see that. But it is a gorgeous palace. I am uploading this to the gallery, so it will be uploaded by the time you guys watch this. Is that? I think one of the roofs might be a different color than it's supposed to be. I think that might be an accident, so I need to change that. But yeah, and then it'll also, it'll link on there who the original creator was too. So if you wanted to uh, download the original, if you wanted to download the original palace from the creator, then you can do that as well. I'll also put the link to this in my description, my video description. I'll hopefully remember to do that. But yeah, so this is the Windenburg Palace. It's the very front view. Um, also, before we begin our tour, I do want to say that I am filming this after, I'm filming this before the last episode of The Royal Family has been posted. And I'm also probably pre-recording a few videos today and tomorrow too. So any comments I'll definitely get to later or I'll try to respond in the comments as well. And then one other thing that I promised that I I would uh, talk about in this episode too is that the quest of Johan for Princess May someone asked in my last video the one where I posted with like the babies that were never born um, so someone said or someone was asking if Johan's still on his quest for Princess May and I believe he is on his quest still I'm sorry I haven't like shown that at all but I just believe that like I think he is starting to give up a little too but I will focus on that in future episodes because I think in the next episode of the royal family we're probably going to focus a little bit more on Prince Johan so you guys will get to see him there too. So anyway, okay. So let's go ahead and jump into our palace tour. Oh, I do also want to say that since the episode 100 is coming out really, really soon, it's going to introduce a lot of new storylines to you guys too. I am going to take a break from my dynasty and self like self, my legacy sim self series because I do, I just want to focus on that. Uh, but I will, it'll be short break. It'll be probably like a couple weeks or so. So I just want to let you guys know that. I know I do have a lot of dynasty fans out there. Um, so I just wanted to let you know that first, uh, but I will try to get that done just as soon as I get like the 100th episode out and like the stuff after it because there's a few things after it too that are really important that I'm just so excited about you guys. Okay, anyway, okay, so let's go into our palace tour. Okay, so this is the very front of the palace. We're going to start on the first floor, then second floor, then third floor, then I'll go into the bottom levels because we have a lot of bottom levels too. Oh, yeah, okay, you guys just got a sneak peek of that. So this is our little entrance way here. I had so much fun using the stairs on this. Okay, so so this is our entrance, you guys. I wish you could do this with the ceiling on right now, but would you look at this, guys? I made such use out of the stairs that just came out with the update. It is my probably favorite thing about the entire palace. But you know what I love about this is that like if you are on that landing up there, like you can look down and, and see like the entire grand foyer and everything too. So it's probably my favorite part about this place. But it just, oh my gosh, guys, I think it looks so, so cool. So, yeah, okay, so this is a foyer. I just, I love looking at it. It is so cool, you guys. Okay, so this is, yeah, this is probably my favorite part about the palace. Okay, so it, this is like the grand, grand area, the grand ballroom, kind of this is like where we would have, like if we were to have parties, we'd probably be having it like out here and then in the throne room over here. You guys can see Prince Kellen over there too. So this is our throne room. I am going, oh, okay, I need to fix that wall over there as you guys can see. I think that there's some 
unfinished things in it. Um, but yeah, this was originally two separate rooms and I expanded it. So it looks like I forgot to adjust the wallpaper, but I can definitely do that later. Um, so yeah, this is our throne room. So this is like the main carpet we get to go. Um, so this is where the king and queen, where they have like, they hold court and all that stuff here too. So this is also where we'd kind of have like social events as well. Um, I'll probably fill in some of the stuff a little bit too. Just like imagine it like when you first move into a house, like it's a little bit empty. Like it just needs some time to like fill in space and all that too. So this, you guys can see the past kings and queens so we have our very first king and queen we have king henry the first and queen ravenna and then king henry the second and queen sybil and then we had king kellen and queen ilsa i believe um and then i have the current kings and queen i did put alice and evangeline's picture both next to henry's picture i think evangeline's fine with it honestly like i mean it's not like sh like their divorce or anything like his wife passed away and she respects that too and she's so kind and caring and she knows that alice was henry first love so she's totally fine with like the portrait being there i do need to redo evangeline's portrait though because it's like way too far as like opposed to everyone else's everyone else is so much closer so i'll probably be redoing her portrait soon but then i continue like the line of of the rulers in the past so we have then uh this is king henry the third and queen ezra and then it, this is king george and queen isabel and then we will have i i need to expand the wall because i don't think all the pictures are going to fit but then we're going to have Alice, Henry, and Evangeline's picture next to that one. Okay, so that's the throne room. So I'll let you guys see it from this point of view too. So if we go through here, you guys can see stairs to go downstairs and we'll go downstairs a little bit later. This is a little sitting area. We have a piano over here for people to practice piano and all of that. So this is a nice little living area. And then we have our dining room here. So this is where we will have all of our like dinner parties and such. And then we have the kitchen over here. I debated putting the kitchen down in the basement again. But I don't think there was, we, we could. There's like some room in the basement, but not a lot of room. So we will probably have to like, I don't know. I feel like this is fine and I feel like this is big enough. So I don't think it's an issue. Like it was an extra room. So I figured we would just use it for the kitchen. Um, but maybe I, I might make some changes and stuff, but for now I think this is good. But yeah, in the last palace I had the, uh, the kitchen in the basement. So that's why. But then in here we have, a bathroom and then in here we have another little living sitting area I'm probably going to be putting a TV on this wall as well but there's also like a bar here too so this is where guests would come to get their drinks and everything and then if we go on the other side of the palace we have another living and sitting area oh I realized oh I, I forgot that there was like already a piano in that other room so I'll well I, I might keep that there for now and then I'll probably change that a little bit later but yeah I, I think this is good for now um, but then we have a little game room over over here so we have a chess table and a don't wake the llama and card table so that's all there and then I have a painting room so this is where we're going to get all the paint the portraits painted and um, so I put like a little mirror in here and then the easel and like a little ottoman and then this is kind of like the backdrop for all of them so I usually like pose them right over here and have them get their pictures done there so that's oh and then also so we have these two little like separate kind of guest houses but they're still part of the palace um so here we have like a little gym area I might move that to another room i haven't completely decided yet and then we also have a like a restroom over here so then next we're going to go to the second floor so we'd kind of like go up both of those stairs to go to the second floor so this is the second floor this is where most of the bedrooms are right here we have the master bedroom so this is the king's and queen's bedroom um and then we have a little walk-in closet right here and then we have their restroom over here oh gosh this is a mess someone needs to clean this up so i'll probably get some of the kids to help clean that up as well but this bedroom bathroom was pretty much kept the same from the original palace. I did pretty much change like the layout and like the bedrooms and everything. So this was a little bit different before. There weren't as many bedrooms when I first got the palace. Um, and then I have like a little easel in here too, but I pretty much kept the style of what their bedroom looked like in the other palace. And then right here we have Prince Kellen's room. So this is his room right here. And then over here, so on the left side, Right here, we have Princess Bellatrix's bedroom. We have the little nursery and kids room here. So when the kids, like if, for infants and toddlers, future infants and toddlers, this is where we would have them and they would like move into their own room after that. So that's that uh, sort of bedroom area here. We have a little bathroom over here. Um, in the back here, we have, this is Prince Charles' bedroom. So that's his bedroom. And then we have some more bedrooms on the third floor. This is another bedroom. I haven't officially used it for anything, but I also don't remember if I have a bedroom for Princess Diana. So if not, then maybe I'll use that for Princess Diana, but I also like to keep her in the same house. Um, so I'll probably just change that. But yeah, so this is the second floor. 
then we'd go up these stairs to go to the third floor. So the third floor, we have more bedrooms. So this is Princess Amira's bedroom. And then, so this is probably Princess Diana's bedroom. It was already like red from the, like the original palace. So I am probably just gonna change the directions a little, the directions, the, the decorations a little bit. So this is going to be Princess Diana's bedroom. And I feel like it's very fitting that she's right next to Princess Amira's bedroom because she loves Princess Amira. She's super close. That's like her biggest role model. So it's Princess Amira's bedroom. And then we have a bathroom over here. And then we also have the kind of like library area over here. Um, and then we have a desk. I need to add a computer there, but this is like the little office space. Um, and then here is like a meeting area. So if there's anything like political meetings happening, we would kind of like have it up here. Um, so that's where King Henry would kind of like address like the court and like the nobles or anything like that as well. And we have another bathroom up here. And then I forgot to show you on the second floor of the other kind of separated house. This is our photo studio. So I will be taking most of the pictures here. I did use the Machino stuff pack stuff for this so that we have like a little backdrop and like the camera and lights and everything. And I will be decorating this with more pictures. I just haven't pulled them all out yet. That's where our pictures are going to go. So this is really cool to have like a little photo studio because I had one in, they didn't look like this and it was bigger in the other palace, but I just liked, I, I don't think we needed that much space for it. So I feel like that was fine, but yeah. Okay, so that is the, that's all the kind of like upper level floors. So next we're going to go into the basement. So there's two basement levels actually, which is not, which is more than we had in the last palace. So this is kind of like the butler and servant quarters. So I know they only give you one butler, but I felt like this was like fitting to have multiple, just like, just in case for like, I don't know if they have like a chef or something that stays with them or like a other extra bedrooms. So this is kind of like the servant's quarter area. And then here, so they do have to go all the way around here to get to the spa. So we have a huge spa. So we have like massage chairs and massage tables, I guess. Um, over here with like a little like bar, like a, a rela relaxation bar. And then we have like the locker room area too. So this is where they get changed into their robes. And then here we have a little yoga studio. So I feel like they definitely like get into some more yoga and do some like yoga classes and stuff too. Cause it's very stressful to run a kingdom and all of that. So that's their like little yoga studio. And then here we have two different saunas. So I think this is so much fun. Cause I had a spa in the last castle and I just felt like it's very fitting to have like the, I don't know, it's just nice to have a spa area, just like more things they can do in their palace. And then they can have like spa parties and all that too. So this is the first basement level. And the second basement level, you guys, I did build a, well, okay, no, I didn't build the crib. I downloaded a crib from the gallery and then I expanded it and moved it around the way I wanted to. So guys, okay. So this is our crypt and this, there was so many more like space area here. So I will definitely make this bigger and expand it. But for now I felt like this was a pretty good size. So right here we have all of the, like the previous rulers urns. I am going to make copies of their portraits and add that here, like on the walls. So you guys will like know who's who. And so I'll know who's who also, but like you guys can see, I think, oh, it should say like, who, okay, yeah, like King Henry III's urn. So like we have all the rulers. I will be putting portraits up here too. Uh, I don't know why there's a fire alarm up here um, or down here, but yeah, so this is them. And then this is where King George's and Queen Evangeline's urn would go. Cause I did put Queen Alice's urn down here. And then I also have the other urns of past family members. So I will make this area bigger too. I do have Princess May's urn down here. And then we have other relatives down here as well. Um, but I will probably expand this whole thing so we can fit a lot more because I think there are still some urns and stuff that I haven't added in here yet. But yeah, this is the crypt, you guys. And thank you for like telling me to make one because it is nice and it's like nice not to have urns just like on the upper level in the grand ballroom too, where like everyone can see. But I just, I like still having the portraits of like all the past rulers and stuff there as well. So yeah, guys. Okay, so that's pretty much the palace. This was actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I am still like so obsessed. I wanna just like see like from this point of view, like just the bottom level because it looks so cool. So like if you're on the stairs and you're on this little balcony here, 
you can see like down and it's just so cool to see everything. This is like the camera on um, this is like a little bit difficult. But yeah, you can just see like the whole grand ballroom if you have like guests mingling around here, like someone could be standing on this balcony and just like see down here and like kind of like look at all who's here and everything. I just like seen that in like Disney movies and stuff. So that's why I was thinking of it. But yeah, guys, okay. So this was so much shorter than I thought it would be. So I apologize for that. But I hope you like seeing our new palace and everything. I hope I gave you guys enough like of a view and like look at it. It's very cool. Cool. I'm very happy with it. I'm I'm like so happy with this I'm especially happy with like the outside of the palace I'll probably be adding a pool in the back. So there's like really nothing back here So I'll do that later on um, But I thought like it was a good time for them to move in because it's fall now It's the first day of fall so it worked out perfectly and it just like it, it could use like a little bit of work still But I'm happy it's livable. So they've officially moved back into their new palace and I'm just so happy with the front of it. It looks amazing So like props to the original creator who I, I will I will put their name and everything in the description below so you guys can download that. I'll add this to the gallery so you guys can do hashtag Mirror Ray Royals, type that in the gallery, or you can look up The Real Mirror Ray, that's my ga gallery ID name, um, so you guys can look up that and find this palace in there. But yeah, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you love our new palace. In the next episode of The Royal Family, we will get back into the story. We will get to see babies being born because Queen Naya still has to have her baby, and then also Queen uh, Corinne also has to have her baby, and we have to age up some other babies as well and we'll get back into the story and focus on Prince Johan and him finding new love and all that too so it'll be so much fun so if you enjoyed this give this video a big thumbs up hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video bye